A right triangle with a hypotenuse of 8 includes a 37 degree angle. Find the measures of the two angles and the lengths of the two other sides. So I'm going to draw a right triangle. And a hypotenuse of 8. So that's going across the right angle. So here's my hypotenuse. And a 37 degree angle. So if you want to, you can also put check marks. You put that information on your picture. Find the measures of the other angles and side lengths. I'll call the other angle X. I'll call this side Y and this one Z. To solve for X, I can just use the triangle sum theorem. So when I'm solving for angles, I can use blank plus blank plus blank equals 180 degrees. And just fill in the information you have. You have x, you have 90, you have 37. And if you combine like terms class, what do you get? And if you subtract 127 from both sides, 50. Raise your hand if you got 53 degrees. Now after today's lesson, you can actually find x, the angle, in a different way as well. Let's go ahead and solve for a side here. <coughs> well, if I start with 37 degrees, I can label my side opposite, hypotenuse. This one is what class? Jason. Jason. Now, pay attention. In math, you cannot solve for two variables in a single equation. You would have to use a system of equations or two equations. So if it helps you, you can just take your finger. There's two unknowns. You just cover one up. Don't use it. Let's solve for y. So I have 37 degrees as my starting point. I have the opposite over the hypotenuse. Class on the count three, we're going to tell me the trick function. One, two, three. Sine. Sine has opposite over the hypotenuse. So if you need to, put that on your paper. So katoa. So that gives us sine of 37 and then I'm just going to substitute what we have. I have the opposite which is the y variable and the hypotenuse which is 8. Here I can just make uh, sine of 37 a fraction. <coughs> I can cross multiply. <coughs> I'm going to get y equals sine of 37 times 8. Here's my calculator ready equation. I have degrees. Make sure my on degree mode. Check sine of 37 using extra parentheses and I'm going to multiply that by 8 and I'm going to press enter down to the nearest tenth I have 4.8 units raise your hand if you got approximately 4.8 okay uh, word to the caution <coughs> You could use one side and the second side. You have two sides of a right triangle. You can use Pythagorean theorem. But you guys remember my story? What happens if you go to the bathroom and you don't wash your hands? And then you prepare your <coughs> brother's food? People get sick, right? So pay attention. Remember that story. If your answer is wrong or tainted, it's dirty, and you use a dirty answer because you're not you're assuming this is correct, it's dirty, and you use it, you infect all the other problems. Are you following me? So what I would do is cover this up and still use 37. So my starting point is 37. I'm not going to use this answer, 37. And now I have the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Partner A, tell partner B, which trig ratio is that? 
Cosine, so cosine is 37 degrees adjacent, which is Z, over the hypotenuse 8. Same thing, cross multiply. Z equals cosine of 37 times 8. Let's put that in our calculator. Cosine 37. There's another way of putting it into your calculator. You can just press cosine of 37, press enter, and don't touch it. Press multiply by 8 times 8. So answer times 8. And if you round to the nearest tenth, that'll be approximately what? 6.4. Raise your hand if you got that. And you can always double check that by using the Pythagorean theorem. So if I take 4.8 squared. And I add that to our answer of 6.4. I should get uh, 8 squared, which is 64. And that's the case. So, in this problem, it doesn't tell us, but kind of like a big idea here, you are solving for the triangle. Solving for the triangle basically means you are having every side length and every angle, x was 53, solve for. You have a number or a length. 